i'm super excited about this video so it's gonna be kind of like chill so grab yourself some snack coffee tea anything that makes you comfortable so that we can just have a conversation so the topic for today we are going to be talking about you know what the topic is about uh, you know what the topic is about the the order of a family or order of family the order of family that's the order between the husband and the wife okay so i was uh, watching something online i came across a video there's a lady that was traveling with her husband in um it seems like they arrived in the airport i'm not sure if it was abuja or it was lagos but it's in nigeria it's a, a nigerian family so that is why i wanted to hear from his own opinion to see what does he think because when I was looking at it, I was just like, I am not sure what is going on here. But the lady, she did tear the passport, which it was her husband's passport. What for? I'm not too sure. So I wasn't really sure what exactly was going on. But uh, before uh, my husband says something, I'm going to just let him to also watch the video so that he can exactly see what happened. Now, let's go ahead and watch the video. Hi everyone. So surprising, so shocking. I am coming across a lot of comments, people insulting me, even my fellow gender who don't understand are also insulting me. I'm not supposed to do what I did. Yeah, I know. I know that is where so many people got me. Why will I tear his passport? It's against Nigerian law. It's against Nigerian rules. I know that. I know. What do I say? To Nigerian immigration, I'm very sorry. But to be sincere, I did it for my husband not to go back. Because I have seen so many things. I've gone through pains. Pains that cause me heart pain today. Pains that gives me headache at the middle of my head. You don't know what I'm passing through. All my gender's talking. I pray you will not experience what I've just passed through. After everything, go to my page. Fine. My husband bought me an iPhone just to make me calm and everything. These things have been going on for more, so many years ago. Things have been going on. Yes. He knew that I've not forgotten it. But I was just dancing to him. It's tune to make him happy, pretending to him. Out of anger, I told him, I said, I don't think this Nigeria, we are going to you, come back. That's why I told him, but he looked at it. That was why he got me a phone as a gift, thinking everything is gone. But I couldn't condole it because it was too much on me. I have pains. I now have ass pain because of this. And I have headache, constant headache because of this. <laughs> And you all are there insulting me. You are insulting me because you don't know what I am passing through. Because you don't know what I am passing through. If you know, you, you will write what you are writing. You will do that. You don't know. Everybody writing. If you don't know, if you have a way for you to invite the immigration police come on me, they should come. The law should come for me. No problem. No problem. I am ready to face anything. My husband is there because he has access to the page. He's posting to explain, even posting a few full video of it. Ah. 
I said I was not going to cry. I said I won't cry. I said I will not cry. I won't. It pained me so much. Not for the text. All the messages you are sending to me. Both those things. Are... I even saw a blogger in Italy that was interviewing someone and the person called on the video and was talking. She knows me. Whoever you are, just feel you don't know me. You even said, I, 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 I married before I brought a man. I don't know if you are seen. You are seen in your brain. You don't know what you are saying. So many people who don't even know me. You don't even know me. You talk about me. You talk down on me. You don't know me. Be careful. Be careful. Why? Why should you talk about me? Why on earth should you talk about me? So many women are suffering their marriage today just because they cannot speak out. And I acted my own. I gave my action, my anger towards my husband, which my husband knew what I did. He knows that I was in pain. And you all are here writing. You are writing. I have three children for him. Three children. Thank you very much. There's no problem. You can write. If you have the power, you have the strength, come after me. I will give myself to you because I'm also even tired. If you don't know. Do you know what I've suffered? Do you know what I've gone through? What is it? Okay, so now that we have watched the video, so what did you think? Yeah, the thing is that if we look into the days of our forefathers, there is order set. But these days, there is no more order. That's why the families are getting divorced. This is where a man marries a wife. Today, they turn into enemies. Instead of being husband and wife and becoming one body. That's why they say, they, like the Bible says, what they, God have joined together. Let no man put us under. So when the man leave his father's house and take a wife, they become one body and one soul. So they speak in one voice. So the incident that happened is that when we do bad things in this world, we actually get punished. So that's whatever it is, even if they are acting something or they are doing something. Bible says that a woman should be a good woman, should be an example. So that means the character reference that you should have will be what other young women should look and emulate. So, but what we're seeing in this world today is women bringing men down, who's supposed to be the king of the house. Just as we are sitting today, the Lord has made it not by man, that I am the man, I rule the house, I am the king of the house, why you are the queen. And that's no queen without a king. So by now, but the world has made us to know that that has to be a king and no queen before the king. So, but we have to see these things and reference them in the Bible. Because the woman is made for the man, not the man made for the woman. You agree on this? And you know this is biblical, yeah? This is not my way. So the woman, the Bible said that the woman should submit to the man in all ramifications. So there where we see a woman taking his husband's passport, tearing it into pieces and dropping it on the floor. And there are so many other men there. So what this woman is displaying is the act of disrespect and displaying that she is she's example of a bad wife. So when you look at our youth today, our children to copy this and they now start to tear, disrespect their husband. But looking at the man, he was calm. And people on the side were saying, thank you for being calm. And he was calm. Do you know why that man was calm? Because the Bible says, when a man has a bad wife in the public, he's ashamed to speak. He cannot open his mouth. Because no, he opens his mouth, the woman will going to bring so many thunders out. So the man is actually ashamed. Not because he's taking silence, but he knows there are madness in that woman. That if it's the more he reacts, the more so many things unfold. So today we see women ruling the man instead of some men standing up to rule their family. So today we're going to jump into the order of this to correct our people that no matter what we do, 
which should display the character of Proverbs 31, which is the character of, of a good wife, so that our children should copy what we do when we're doing videos, when we're playing music, when we're acting in the public, when we're acting at home, so that our children should copy this good character. So we have to grow a righteous nation, not a disastrous nation, that what we see there is showing a woman that is out of order. And this is on this is not allowed even in the presence of the most high God. I said my tea. So Wow. Can I say something now? Yeah, you can. So he has spoken and I also believe he has made a good point. That woman was out of order. And I did see the man he was, you know, he just you know, it, it was like he, he's ashamed, you know, he just kind of, it's like he didn't even know what to say because he was trying to calm the woman down and the woman was just still shouting, you know, she just wants to be heard, she wants everybody to see her. It was very um, disappointing to see a woman acting like that in public for me because I was just like, you know, before I say anything on this, before I comment on this, so I wanted to hear what you have to say. So anyway, the woman, she also made another video coming up trying to explain uh, that most people are making videos and they don't understand what exactly happened. So she was trying to explain herself in a way, but I just couldn't really figure it out what she was trying to say because I couldn't get anything that she was trying to say. So here is the video of her explaining herself, which is kind of a little bit long. So I'm going to let you watch it as well. So let's you've seen the video. You can see that the lady, she's trying to explain herself. But at the same time, she's not giving us what we want to hear. Because we want to know why did she have to behave that way in public? Why did she have to disrespect her husband that way in public? And so she's not explaining. She's trying to explain, but she's not explaining. So, um, but do you think that she did tear the passport? Do you think that was the passport that was on the floor at all? Like, um, my interest is not on the drama that's going on the internet. My interest is what, let's say in this house, we fighting, calling names, acting, you walking out of order, I'm walking out of order. When there is children, you remember that woman was walking out with children and the man was having one, he's dragging them. And a lot of people that are watching this on the internet. My concern is the character that is displayed. It is abomination before God. The woman rightly shows of herself that she's an example of an indecent woman, dangerous for any man. You understand? So whatever he the the character he she displayed is what we're talking about. Even if it's a paper board, she made us to believe she destroyed a passport, yeah? So that means that every woman should come back with her husband and just stay in the, at the airport and disrespect that man and then destroy her passport. So quickly, to answer you this, I'm going to give you a scripture to see if it amends to what I'm saying, yeah? So we are reading the Bible. This is the Word of God. And this Bible tells us how is it is a healer to everything we need. We need food. We need answered prayer. We need to set order. We need to have a good family. Every answer is here. So we we'll go to the book of Proverbs 12 verse 4 so that I can answer you this question. The, the, the consequences of having a good wife and a bad wife, what that woman did there. So let's see what God said because everything that is written here is the book of Lord according to Isaiah 13, uh, 16 verse 20. Um, according to Isaiah 13, um, 16, um, that's six. I forgot the scripture. Um, the duty is that the duty of the woman? No, no, I is 34 16. Like, you have to go op open the book of the law. The Bible is just telling us to read this book so that we can get the saints. This is Isaiah 34, verse 16. Let's open the book of the law and read it. You understand? So now I will get to that scripture. But now we are in Proverbs 12 and um, Proverbs 12 and verse 4. I read, A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. So a woman that is conduct herself in order, respectful, 
like Proverbs 31, he said, it's a crown to her husband. So when you are a crown to your husband, when you're walking in public, your husband should be so proud. There should be no disrespect. There should be no disorderliness. And see what he said here. But she that maketh a shame is as a rottenness in the bone. Do you not know, understand that inside your bone, there is a rottenness. That's why you see the man was so quiet. Because he knows that the woman there is like a rottenness. And you see what she brings. He brings a display, a disgrace to her husband, to the whole world. And she was so proud, walking on and ratting to another man that was saying something. He was saying, is it your passport? So that's how, when that kind of woman come in the public, they destroy and disrespect men. And God does not like this kind of woman. So when we need to marry, we need to know who we are marrying. Because apart from that, the children, the Bible says like a uh, uh, mother, like daughter, the, any she, female daughter will copy that and grow with that because they see the mother display that in the family. That's why the Bible says that like she's like a rottenness in the bone. So but a virtuous woman, like you understand the rule of the family now. We cannot go in airport no matter how angry you are, you know that that is something you will never do. On any extent of life, you know that is no go area. Why do you know that? You know, because I'm implementing that to you. That's because you know that this is the word of God. You understand? So, I want to hear what you will say on this so that I can give you more of the scripture. Because what we are trying to show to the world is like when the family moves together in the right places, there is peace, there is unity. And then the presence of God dwell in the family. But when you are taking the marriage, they take the ring and you put. They say in good time and in bad time, you say I do. It's like you taking an oath. And after that, you start to disrespect that man. You don't honor that man in good time. You start to fight. So you are breaking that oath. You know more one body. And that is when family start going down. So the, how good family is, is from the how orderliness that is come from the man and the woman, especially for the women, has a big part to play in the family. So that thing the woman displayed there is out of irresponsibility and never a quality of a good wife. So over to you. So what do you have to say on that? Yes, and also the fact that she was also with children, it does not show a good example because the way she was with kids, you know, I saw how these kids were looking at her. You are right. They're tight as two and... Uh, you are right, you are right, my wife. You are carried, you are carried. <laughs> You're carried, I'm going there straight away. The tight as two I'm best going there straight three away. also teaches us to be teachers of good things. Oh, I'm going there straight away. I'm going there straight away. So, so when I like that, that's one of the things that I was looking at. I was just looking at those children that she was with. They were just looking at her while she was misbehaving, people trying to hold her at the airport. And I just asked myself, who, who, who becomes like this at the airport with children? You know. So that was what came to my mind that she is not a good example, even if she wanted to trend. Because some of the videos I watch, I see people saying that, oh, she wanted to trend. Even if you want to trend, is that something that you want to trend with? As, as a woman, as a wife, that's the thing that you want to trend with. It's not, it's not looking good. And uh, it's just not looking great. I don't know what is the situation with her right now. I didn't see any videos. I think I saw something, a picture, as if like she was getting arrested or something like that. So in, in Nigeria, that's, you cannot tear a passport in the, in the airport. It seems like you know, there's a law that you cannot tear the passport. So it seems like you know, they were trying to show that she was getting arrested or something like that. So I won't get into that because I didn't watch that video. But um, she was just not being a good example at all. That's all I can say. And um, she, it was it was disappointing to watch a woman acting like that in front of her husband. And um, so, um, uh, did you find the titles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just on the titles now. So, like, like, um, like my half was saying, um, God set an order for us to follow. To rule our family 
So Titus 3 is another duty of the woman. So we're going to read it. So we go to the Bible. Just make sure you have King James Version, 16, 11, and you read in Titus 2, verse 3. And we read for the three. The age woman, likewise, that kind of woman, has kids walking in the airport, in the public place, with the husband, that they be in... Be, be in behavior as becometh holiness. That you behave, walk in holiness. Holiness like walks in the rules and the sight, in the laws and commandment of God at the side of women. Are you following me? Yes, sir. And he said, not false accusers. That's what he was doing. No matter what is happening in their family, it's supposed to be settled in between the house, not in the public. Because they left home, whatever, she have to get home. She said, not false accusers. Not giving to too much wine. We don't know if she was drinking all the wine in the plane. They are getting from free wine from air hostess. Then she's coming down there. She starts to display of out of drinking uh, much free wines. And say, teach us of good things. So that's what we're, topic, we're talking about. What she's displaying there, she's letting other people, children, that are white women, to understand that you, a woman can just display that kind of irresponsibility. We don't see that from our forefather. This is what we get from other nations. That is not our setting. That's she is supposed to act, Proverbs 31 women, so that other children will see whether she's making a content, whether she's creating anything, so that it goes to what our children will learn from. But she, what she's teaching our children that they can ridicule their man at any time and disgrace and speak and bring men down. Follow me, it's not finished. Verse 4, that they may teach the young children to be sober. You understand? So what is teaching, the, the, she's not giving, teaching the young children anything. Sober, you understand? It's to be always in their right eyes, you understand? To love their husband. Do you? Do you can you read? Is that my word? To love what? Finish it. Her husband. To love her husband. So, taking your husband's passport and tearing it is already, she's already offending God. That's what we don't know. To love their husband and to love their children. So, what she's doing there, she's disrespecting her children. Because then she's dishonoring their father, which is the head of the house in the presence of the children and every other public. So now she's disrespecting the husband. Five, to be discreet, chaste, keep us at home. If he's a woman that keeps a home, good keeper at home, she won't be displaying that out of irresponsibility and say, obedient to their own husband. Two things here, to love their husband here yeah? and to be obedient to their husband. God is still speaking that the word of God may not be blasphemed. So what she displayed there, she dis blasphemed the word of God. So when we read 1 Corinthians um, 11, yeah? Let's read 1 Corinthians 11 quickly. Then I give you um, the distance to talk. But meanwhile, you can have your speech read and say something when I get 1 Corinthians 11 verse 9 to show who the woman was created for. So before I ask my husband about um, this video, about this lady, what he think, I went ahead and watched another person who made a video. And it was uh, one gentleman as well. And he, he did say exactly the same thing, that the lady, she was out of order. And he said, he just doesn't, that's when uh, somebody takes a long wife. That was what he was saying on his video. He said, that man, he has, he said, as men, he said, they can see, men can see, but this one is a wrong marriage. He took, took, he took a wrong person. But uh, it was very painful because, like, there were children. There are children there, you know, this is a family. They think it's like about two or three kids the yeah. family was with. So this is not just like just husband and wife alone. There's also children. Yeah. You know. So. So like we said, Hosea four verse six said, "My people, that is black, Hispanics, and the, the native of America, the children of Israel, according to the Bible, we have certain orders that's given to us. So the, the Hosea four verse six, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So everything they are displaying in there." His lack of knowledge. Even if it's an acting, the man is out of order. He's not a pure head of the family because she allowed a woman to come and act 
that kind of attitude bringing him down as a man because he was looking for something to train for him to get money or for them to become known in a very wrong way so he they are looking to people to acknowledge them in a way of of belittling himself as a man of the house so we are reading first corinthians 11 verse 3 the order of the family what god said so the book of four corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3 said but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So Christ, oh yeah, you follow me. And the head of the and the head of the woman is the man. So Christ, man, woman, and the head of Christ is God. So is God, Christ, man, woman, and children. You understand? So each person that go against each other one, Christ does not do something for getting for his own father. Then he's a plague to the man to take the hold of the family. And then the man take the hold of the family and give order to the woman. And the woman not short the children and the man supply all the need. You understand? So so many order that is here. Let's say like here. Let's say for example now, let me show them something that they don't know. Look at you now, yeah? We are reading the Bible here. You have your head covered. That is an order. Because when you are, we are reading the Bible, just like what they do in churches today, and you had your head uncovered, you are disobeying your head, which is man, and disobeying God. That's 1 Corinthians 11 verse 5 says, But every woman that prayed or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonored her head, for that is even one as if she were shaving. So that is an order. That we never know today. When the whole wife is coming to the husband, they have to have their head covered and display in a good manner. So when you go to verse 9 here, he says, Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the what? For the man. You understand? So the woman is created for the man. Why? Let's prove it in the Bible by going to Genesis 2.18 quickly. So they prove why is it created for the man? What, why did God give the woman to the man? We we'll prove it in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, 18. Like we say, Bible have to read by precept upon precept, Isaiah 28, verse 10, here a little and there a little. So we, we just tell you people, we're not saying a word, but we are saying, thou said the Lord. Genesis 2, 18. Then he said, and the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Now I will make him a help meet for him help meet means the woman is created here first corinthians said the woman was created for the man so the reason it was created for the man is to be a help meet you have a helper in the house and that would that person be overriding you a woman is created to serve the man is it true of us it is true. do you agree that this is the word of god absolutely absolutely so this is not what we are saying this is the order once a woman understands this role, there's success and progress in the family and the presence of God, the worst in the family. So this is another place that the woman falls head. So he knew that this man was created for him. All she needs to fill this man with honor and respect and dignity. And then the man himself have to rule his family in order. Like 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, Let everything be done decently. And in order. You understand? So, but she, the man and the woman, was out of, fully out of order. If they are acting it, they are out of order. But if they are not acting it, the woman, I don't know how the man managed such a woman to that extent. So, I need, if you have something to say, you say, so that we now go into the submission according to the Bible. And we say that God does not give a role. When he says submit, he didn't put a full stop. He says submit in all things. So you go ahead. So that is my Lord speaking. So he has um, read all the scriptures to support exactly what we are saying. That is not just our word. It is in the Bible that the woman has to submit to the husband. And the woman has to be the teacher of a good thing. And the woman has to be a good example. So now that we have gone through this and you have watched the video tape here, I want to thank you so much. Now, um, anything that you want to say to end the video? 
and also I want to say thank you for joining me on this video today. You've been so amazing. And yes. Well. Yes, and I, one thing I want to say, like we don't say a word. I just want to close the scripture with our uh, Ephesians. So that let's you we open it with the word of God and let's close it with the word of God. And we see what the Lord said. And this is how the family should roll. This is how we get our blessing, not from the pastor, not from the prophet, not from all these things that doesn't exist, that the lives that is running in Africa. The man is the head. The man is the Lord in a home. Every woman that wants a progress, don't marry who you will not respect. Don't marry a man that you will not see as a king. Once that is, this order is set in the family, respect and a woman roll like read proof of 31. You see the quality of a good woman. Any woman does not roll in that order, the man goes down and the family goes down. So when you need to marry, prove first so that you will get yourself a good woman. According to first, uh, um, Ephesians 5.21, it said, it said, Submit yourself to one another just in the fear of God. So even the man, because you are not the head of the family, does not mean you have to really call the wife. You have to honor the wife and give her everything that she needs. Write her, guide her in the right way. So in the fear of God, not because you have power, you can now start to override that woman. God himself will come for you because that is not, you are going out of order. So when you read verse 20, you say, wife, submit yourself unto your husband as unto the Lord. The way you submit yourself to Father God praying, but the Lord God wants you to submit yourself that same way unto your husband. It is a commandment. It is a law. So the Bible does not say submit in something. He says submit yourself unto your husband. For the husband is the head of the wife. You see it? You read it. What I'm so that it's, yes. it's not my for the husband is the way of the wife, even as Christ is the head of, of the church. So this is something so therefore as the church is subject to the Christ so is let the wife be to their husband in every what every what is this thing every what everything every what everything. in some things no on ev in everything things. yeah mm -hmm. so in everything even if it is making me say submit and find a way to speak to him when everything is calm so this is the joy, that's when the joy of a family comes. That's when the joy of a marriage comes. That's when the order comes. That's when the unity comes. That's when the presence of the Lord is in the family. Not to submit yourself to the pastor, not to your wife. Submit yourself to your boss in work, not to your husband. We have to, the family has to subject themselves to this word of God. That's when peace No, We are rolling in this and we see. Can you raise your Bible? That's your own scripture, yeah? Your apocrypha. That's your apocryph, yeah? Mm -hmm. Most of them does not know about this book, yeah? And where your notebook, yeah? So to show them that you're, you're not showing, this is my apocryph, and this is my own Bible. And this is how we roll in this house. We move in thou said the Lord. We submit ourselves to the Lord and follow his words. Like the Joshua 1 verse 8 says, that the book of the Lord shall not depart from our mouth, that we should meditate on it day and night. In in we should find success and I'll make our way prosperous. So, what you know, the order of the family is 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. And the, according to the Bible, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40, say, let everything be done decently and in order. That's how the family moves. So that woman is out of order. The man, if he's acting, he also is out of order. He's not supposed to be a bishop. He's not qualified to be a good example, a protector, a guider, and a provider of the family. So my people, let's roll like kings and queen. This is our uh, this is our calling. This is who the Lord made us to be. Not made us to be vagabonds or our useless people out there. We're supposed to work in order so that we enjoy our family. Thank you for giving me this privilege to come on your channel to educate our people because the Bible says uh, when we see the operation makes a white man mad, when we see things not going in order, once we get in this, we go mad and we trip. So we're going coming more for you people to explain again an incident that happened between in South Africa, between um, the Shidima and the people. So our people understand again 
what we are doing wrong as a people and what the most I want us to do. So we have to enjoy peace in this nation. That's it for me. Shalom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again on my next video. Don't forget to watch the next video of where uh, we'll be talking about Chidema Adichina. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you on my next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Bukin. Bye, Don.